Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Aspects of Design. Today I'm delighted to welcome Simon Gain as my guest to talk about kitchens. Simon is the co-founder of Chalk Kitchens and they design and supply and install British and German kitchens for trade and contract clients. So they um, uh, design and install kitchens for interior designers, architects and property developers from multiple units in development properties to high-end bespoke kitchens for luxury private properties. So each of these has a very different criteria to meet and Simon says creating the perfect kitchen is a balancing act between aesthetics, functionality and budget. And he says the importance of these three factors varies massively depending on who he's working for and he loves it when he manages to uh, not only achieve but surpass all three of these expectations. So welcome Simon and thank you Hi. so much for taking the time to speak with me today. How are you? I'm very good, very good. Yeah. Good, right. Now listen, first of all, tell me, how did you get into the world of kitchen design? I mean, was this something that you always wanted to do or? No, not at all. I um, I was, it happened a few years back, I was sort of uh, between uh, career and I was uh, working with my uncle, I actually ran a joinery business uh, in central London. And one of his customers was a property developer and was looking for uh, the joinery to take on doing some of their kitchens. And my uncle wasn't able to, it wasn't really the, the line of work they, that they were in. Uh, mm -hmm. At the time, my brother worked for Smallbone, both okay. famous uh, retailer, uh, kitchen retailer. And, um, and, and basically, I said to him, I said to this guy, look, I, I can do your kitchens for you. And sort of uh, at that point, I knew a little bit about it. I'd worked at the joinery and my brother obviously was, uh, worked at Smallbone. So that's how it all started. Yeah. And that, that okay, was... Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, so what do you like about designing and creating kitchens? Because obviously you're doing it now. You've been doing it for a while. You love yeah. it. You're good at it. I know that. So um, what is it you like about, about kitchens? I think the the thing I like about it is bringing it all together. It's it's bringing the different aspects with the mm -hmm. kitchen, uh, and I know we're going to talk all about that probably later. But it's it's bringing each kitchen's different for each client, um, and it's bringing the design element into it as well as the budget and 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 and, and yeah, the timing, the project management side of it. Um, so yeah, it, it can be very satisfying in bringing it all together and making yeah, it work. Because yeah. they're quite complicated, you know. You've got you know, it's not yeah. just, you know, creating a beautiful design. There's, it's got to work, it's got to function, it's got to be ergonomic, and it's got to, to work as a kitchen to do all of those tasks that yeah, you do in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, yeah so, no, that's true. And, and it depends, again, it very much depends on who we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's domestic client, uh, or if it's residential client, or if it's a developer, or an architect, an interior designer like yourself, there's so many different aspects in terms of bringing bringing everything together for that right person. So, and and that can be very satisfying. So, yeah. so what in my role we deal with 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 both sort of that element, the private customer to the to the developer, mm -hmm. and 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 they both got different needs. That, yeah, that need absolutely. To be met. So, tell me about you know Chalk, your company. So, tell me about the kind of kitchens that Chalk supplies, and and so, you know, and and what's the you know describe the service that you offer. What makes you guys different? Um, so what we do really is we we primarily we work with what we call property professionals. So it's very much us taking on that side of uh, with a developer or interior designer or an architect. They might be dealing with a whole property or uh, a property where they've got multiple flats. And it's saying to them, look, we're going to be an extension of your service overall so we will take the kitchen element and, and and in that will be the design which of course is very important but will be the installation will be the m e plans working with the contractor working with the services because all these things in a kitchen are a real headache for, for everybody i mean if anybody's ever dealt with the kitchen they'll know it's not just a couple of cupboards putting sticking them into, yeah, a, yeah, into yeah, a space absolutely. um you've got to you know you've got to know what's feasible in that space and, but also um, you can't forget anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's vitally yeah. important because it can really mess up the whole design so it isn't just about how it looks you know and that's interior design essentially it's yeah. not just about how it looks but i mean in a kitchen it's so important Absolutely. well it is and and, and it's and we there is a real need for us with with uh, on this side of things with the property developer because they really do 
that, yeah, it is, you know, sometimes we're breath of fresh air because we come in and we just say, look, we'll organize that. And it's the, it's the, it's down to even the logistics of getting the, the units supplied, getting them into the space, getting the, 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 the actual appliances there. Mm -hmm. um, and so this, the, yeah. And getting so many, the fitter, getting the, a good getting fitter. Getting the installer there, the dealing fitter. with the plumber, dealing with the, so, so, so all those elements chalk, that's how we come in. We, we, we look and, and say, look, We'll design it for you, but we'll also yeah. finish it. And, and, and so tell me about it, because obviously, you know, you've got that experience of working with property developers, architects, interior designers. So, um, how, you know, how does the criteria, you know, on a very sort of basic level, how does the criteria differ? I mean, what does a property developer want? Yeah, I mean, it's, what it's an interior designer wants. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's all to do with uh, we'll have property developers in its budget. You know, they they, they they want a premium kitchen. That, that's the other thing. I mean, our kitchens are German kitchens. We look with 90 percent of them, 95 percent. We, we have a supplier in Germany called Beat Kitchen um, and we bring them in and they're a high quality um, premium kitchen. So they've already come to us. They know that. But the, the key thing is, you know, they want to offer that in their property, but at the same time at a good budget. So to them, it's all, it, you know, prim it, it's really about the. Um, meeting the budget. They want it to look amazing, but cost look amazing. They weren't all the bells and whistles, but mm -hmm. for this, and they'll say that you know, and we'll say, well, you can do that. It's this much, and they say, well, we've got that much. So that's where it can be quite, you know, it, it, it's a challenge and it's exciting because we've got to work out how I can make, you know, well, you've got to this meet, much money surpass those expectations, yeah, like you said, yeah. and their and then, expectation and, is, you know, it's got to come in at that price for me. You know, yeah, I'm exactly. giving you 20 kitchens to do. You've got to do them for me for half nothing. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. They've got to look amazing, and they've got to they've got to go into you know a flat that I'm selling for half a million pounds or something. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's exactly it. Whereas with a with a with a, somebody like yourself, an interior designer is working with a client. It's a completely different proposition. We'll come in with yourself working and 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 coming on that side of the expertise and bringing in the design element as well as the aesthetics obviously but a lot of that will be led by yourself in terms of the the finishes the and, and, and what the look is but then we will come in and my my relationship then is very much different i will come in behind you and say well look you know you're going to say to me we want this is the feel we want we've done a you know a, a mood board for you this is the look we're after i'll say well you can do that and that and that but you know you've got to be realistic you can't have it on that wall because it's an outside wall and all blah blah you know all those different elements so yeah. so the whole um the whole way i work is much is much different and, and is, a, is a completely different challenge in terms yeah. of trying to incorporate all those different elements for you but it also and then with an architect yeah sorry, sorry. Go on. no go on go on well i was going to say with an architect you know they can be quite uh, they can have their sort of heart set on this is how i want it and you're sort of like well my vision uh, yeah, they, this doesn't work. You know, you've got the dishwasher there, and you've got the fridge there, and you've got the oven here. Like, how? Yeah, but that looks good on paper and on your on 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 a on a plan drawing. You know, it's like, well, it doesn't actually work. But, you know, so with them, you've got to sort of gently explain that. You know, this yeah. has got to be used as a kitchen. It's not just something that looks it looks pretty. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, is, I, I'm, I'm generalising massively, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah, but, no, absolutely. But but you know, and it is that thing. That's where you know I would value the expertise of somebody like you because. I kind of know what I want to go, you know, in terms of the kitchen plan, but then you'll be able to say, okay, you know, in terms of the symmetry of the units, for example, you say, oh yeah, we can have two thirties, two twenties, you know, two forties, <sighs> or we can have a one eighty, or we can have a, you know, whatever. And you'll be able to sort of, it's that mathematical precision, which you can just do like that. And I'd be going, yeah. oh, looking up my, you know, my book of mm. standard sizes of units and stuff, whereas you'll do that. And then You'll do, and also part of the service that I really value with you is you'll do amazing visuals for the client of how yeah, yeah. it's going to look, which is really helpful because quite often I can see it, but quite often they can't visualize it. Yeah, no, that's really yeah. true. Yeah, no, that is a great, uh, a great and answer. also it's just that reassurance of knowing that all of the that sort of you do this day in, day out, this is what you do. So, in terms of all of those sort of um, practical m and &E things that you're you know you're I know that that's going to be done it's going to be done properly and you know that's kind of all part of the service but my next yeah. question was you know when we said at the beginning you said that you know creating the perfect kitchen is a balancing act between aesthetics function and cost so tell me a little bit more about that because I know we've, we sort of touched on it but you know what's your what do you mean by that well, uh, for me, the challenge is, is, is obviously we work on briefs, uh, whether that brief is come from yourself or developer or, or who. And it's and it's trying to bring. So why I love and it doesn't happen all the time, because quite often 
a client's going to come to me and say, right, I want it to look like that. You know, this is my, uh, this is the budget and, 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 and I want it to, you know, do all of these things. And I'm just like, well, actually you can't. So quite often I can't bring all three together because they have to compromise. Yeah. And, and, you know, we are in, that, that's, that's the name of the game. And my job is, is trying to make, not you know make not make those compromises and make it all happen for them but sometimes there is an element of that you can't have you know a, an antique brass brass finish on there plus that plus that and you've got a budget of x you know it's mm -hmm. like look you, something's got to go or if you want that wall to look like that it's it, you've got to accept that you're going to have the fridge over there and you're the island's over here and you, you're wanting that aesthetic, you, that feel to it doesn't function that way. Mm. You know, yeah, you're going to be in six months' work. time. You're going to have people coming in this kitchen going, "Whoever designed this has never, you know, spent time, spent in, a time in a kitchen before." Yeah, you know, and and so so for me, it's those three things. And when the three things do work, and it doesn't always happen, but when they do work, and we've got a, you know the budget's there, but plus we've got the look though after and it's for me you know the function is really important because kitchens for me that is you know let's be honest that's the most important thing it's Absolutely. got a function if it doesn't work kitchen. it's it's worse than yeah. useless yeah so so for me those three things when it three of them come together it's it, it's a very satisfying you know yeah. but equally it's it, i say that equally it's satisfying to for to to, to meet you know an objective for, for somebody else where you know they, they just want a really good kitchen but you know okay they just they can't get the finish on the door they want but equally they're really happy with how it looks and the feel of everything so yeah that's that's what those three elements yeah are. yeah and, and that's that's you know and you've just explained sort of how you you kind of manage to achieve that so tell me you know as a kitchen expert extraordinaire <laughs> so in your view and you've you know maybe you've already answered this but in your view what what is the you know what what is the essence of a well-designed kitchen what is a well-designed kitchen to you most importantly it, it's function yeah. so for me personally <laughs> yeah for me personally but yeah it is function and that's when if i go somewhere i will uh, you know i can't help but, but and i am that annoying person that goes in and starts looking at drawers and i will look at elements of oh that's nice or you know um but yeah it's it's the space and how that space is laid out and, and if it's you know that 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 for me is, is function and then obviously yeah the aesthetics it, it, but that's very much down to different people's different tastes you know and mm -hmm. that's, that's you can't really you know uh, yeah. determine that but, but, but i think um, i think i think you're right and but also i think a, a, you know a well designed kitchen it's about listening to that client because everybody's different and if you go into people's mm. kitchens no it's not like everybody's cutlery drawer is in exactly the same place yeah but hopefully it's in the place most sort of logical and practical and useful for that client because that's what it's all about you know it's about yeah, yeah, no. that works for you and for your family and it's really important to take that time to listen to the client and listen to what they want and how they yeah. live and how they want their kitchen to work yeah you've got it exactly i mean i've got a, a, a meeting this afternoon with the client he's a really big uh, uh he loves his cooking and and he wants um he's got his magi mix he's got all his his different uh, appliances small appliances but he hates them cluttering up everything yeah. so we're working on you know we, we've come up with a good design where we've got some some, some cupboards big big units pocket doors and and that's fantastic you know and that's whereas another client might be uh, want everything close by near them when they're cooking and so we'll talk about right how can we make that happen for you and and things like having you know I've got it here you know I've got the dishwasher it opens up and I've got the drawer on the island and literally you can you know I you don't have to move more than a foot to go into the dishwasher because then in the cupboard above there all the glasses go and the plates go in a drawer down under the cup so it's things like that you can you know which and so for my case this kitchen my you know that was a big issue for me was just making it really function properly yeah. whereas for another client they they you know they it, as you quite rightly say it's what what they want and mm -hmm. for him he, he wants all of that clutter away but accessible so it's making it feasible for for him yeah you know, for absolutely and it's listening yeah. to them and making it and and yeah. making it so that it works for anyone but 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 it works beautifully for them no, that would for them yeah. pleasure every day of your life there are those small things that give give you joy so tell me now that's uh, you know a well-designed kitchen um, but, but what do you think defines quality in a kitchen um it's it's good units um it, i mean we can talk about it again later you mentioned there's some other areas like what makes a good kitchen how do you make a kitchen look good mm -hmm. um i mean it is it is it is quality 
in terms of the units themselves. Um, uh, and but that's again, you know, that's that's budget driven um, and, and work top is important and appliances. But but, you know, a good kitchen to me. Yeah, I will always go back to, to to function. You know, you can spend not a lot of money, but you can make a kitchen look great and work great um, for you. It's the, it's the magic, you know. It's it's that magic um, formula, yeah, in, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They're bringing so, all three into, into together. Yeah. So my next question was, um, you know, in terms of quality in a kitchen, and you said the units and how it works. But you know, say you've got the planning done, you know, you've worked all that out. So, um, so where do you, you know, say if you've got, you know, a budget which everybody has, you know, uh, you know, mo money is rarely no object. But you know, mm -hmm. where do you think, and um, you know, what elements do you think are worth spending the money on, and where do you think you could maybe make savings, but still kind of get that look that you want to achieve? Again, that goes back to that goes back to what the client's after because you know we can put a, a, a kitchen together and they're not really they want the doors to look fantastic they want that look and if I say right okay and we're going to put in a Gaggenau uh, ovens you know they're like well you know we we don't after Gaggenau ovens we'll just have some some Bosch ovens which are fantastic by the way you know it's a great yeah. brand but, but they you don't, don't want to go that sort of yeah and but another client. And another client might be the other way around and has got their heart set on some fabulous, you know, really wants top of the range appliances mm -hmm. and budget wise, we'll, we'll allocate that. But it's saying, well, on the kitchen itself, I just want it to work. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. bothered about the units. I just want a good solid unit and, and, and the doors to be a good, easy, clean, you know, mm -hmm. doors. But and, I'm, and I don't mind about the worktop. I, I'll just have a, a, a standard worktop. So, so that's where it's different. You have to understand the client, what they're after. Mm -hmm. and but, that's something, but I think that's something that you're able to do, you know, in terms yeah, of yeah. if you're working with a client, you are yeah. able to sort of say, well, actually, yeah. if you want that, you know, kind of marble sort of effect, you know, whatever, worktop, yeah, we can do that. But what we could do with the units is we could do this and, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's... And and there's all sorts of things. I mean, there's there's the internal elements where you can reduce budget or you can spend money. So if you're thinking of in the cabinetry, if you're thinking of having drawers, you're having pullouts, there's all sorts of things there and, and, and sort of corner, uh, rotary corners and, and everything where that builds, the you know, that you, you can spend a lot of money and it, it, you can also reduce that. Mm -hmm. uh, and cost engineer it down for a client if they say well i want that look but it, i can't you know i can't quite go that far yeah um, I, that's, so, so that's kind of going yeah. over my budget now so yeah and that's where that's where that? we work you know that's where we'll sit down with the client and we'll then uh, say to them look you know th this is what you're after this is the look and ideally the perfect situation is when you come out and they they realize that you know right i've got that look like it's functions and i've got the appliances i want and they're you know they've got all three but yeah. but it is yeah work, and, it's, and it's that thing of you know when they say i absolutely love it when you've exceeded, and then a year down the line they're still saying i absolutely love my kitchen but that, yeah, that yeah. for me is you know tick job done you know yeah, no, that's sort of, fabulous we've achieved yeah. that yeah absolutely um and you know or going back to a client um a couple of years later and seeing a kitchen that we've put in and it looks like the day we put it in because they obviously love it and they value it because yeah, you yeah. know they've taken the time to and and the, the the budget to spend so they've really taken care of it you know and that's really nice as well and you know that they absolutely and, and the best thing the best thing in that instance is when we do do those sort of jobs because quite a lot of jobs obviously for us we're we're, we're doing for developers or uh, you know we're never going to meet the actual end user um, but it is fabulous when you do meet, go back a few years later and there'll be an, a, a design element that you've worked quite closely with the client with, which is that personal thing. And it is that cupboard. Oh, I, I really want this or I really want this to be like this. And you go back and they go, yeah, I'm so pleased that we did this. Simon, yeah, and I'm it so was pleased great. we went And it's so that, useful having this cupboard here. Yeah, that yeah. and that's, very, that's, that's great because they're just And like, this is my favourite bit. Yeah, that was a stroke yeah, yeah, of genius yeah. putting that there. So, you know, I was just like, yeah, great. You know, that's 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 what I want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, tell me, do you have any um, tips on um, making how you make a kitchen look more expensive than it is? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you know, I've got to be careful here. My, I sell kitchens, and so um, you know, I want to want them to spend the money. But uh, but 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 of course, you know, it's it's worktops, handles, so you can make a kitchen look fabulous with 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 a a good 
fairly, you know, not cheap, cheap to one word, but a, a, a good worktop. Um, you can make, you can, you know, jazz it up very much with handles mm -hmm. by spending, uh, if, you, so if you're going for that look, yeah, the small yeah. elements. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, and you can be clever with, with bringing wood in, into it and, and to, you know, having the two different elements, stone and wood, and that always looks good, but yeah, it's, so it's, tell me, so, um, you know, in, in terms of your kind of clients and jobs that you're working on at the moment, what are they kind of currently including in kitchens that you're sort of seeing, you know, it, just kind of as a general thing, really? General thing, I mean, it's very much the style is uh, uh, the marble worktops still very popular. We're putting that in, in a lot of properties, mm -hmm. um, also with developers as well as with private clients. Um, I mean, in terms of uh, new things that are happening in, in terms of appliances, very popular is the cooker tap. You can see I've got mine in the background. They're, they're again, with residential clients, that, that's that's pretty much every job now that the clients yeah, are asking it's for that. And isn't it? it's, yeah, and we it's sort of do that. recommend it. It's just once you've got it, you'll never go back. You but know, you love a, a cooker tap. <laughs> yeah, well, it is once you've got once you've got it. it honestly, you 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 life changing. Never go back. Yeah, it is life changing. Uh -huh. um, I mean, the the other thing is uh, is what's become particularly important for people is this, the whole larder concept. So having either with pocket doors or without but that having that's really popular now is having a worktop space internally we're doing it on a job for yourself actually mm -hmm. next week the week after which is and that's you know that's only a small 600 mm -hmm. um but it's enough space for for preparation with you know reduced depth shelves and 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 that's become really popular with a lot of clients um, yeah we're doing yeah. It and, and, you, and it can be because you've just mentioned this client who's got you know the pocket doors so to me having pocket doors and it almost sounds like we're kind of the you know the, the next stage that we're going into will be sort of larger kind of larger as in sort of actual rooms almost like you know mm. almost kind of like utility rooms where yep. you go in and as you said you have all those appliances set up and you, yeah. you, know, you have that, and then you can shut those doors so you've got well, this clean kitchen yeah i mean that is the thing if you've got the space it, it, that's become for us actually really important i mean now on, on bigger residential jobs um, and even actually yeah one developer we're we're doing a lot of that where it, you're creating it becomes uh, either a bar or a coffee yeah. station for whatever yeah. better word or it's uh, a, a breakfast bar we often refer, where you've got the toaster and the tea maker you know could all be inside there and it's closed the doors and it's and it's done and that's yeah that, that that's that's become a very big fad recently yeah yeah i know and i've seen you know it will develop i've seen it sort of you know kind of develop over the last few years because we've sort of seen kind of kitchen trends but um uh, you know with that in mind sort of you know do you think sort of essentials in a kitchen you know kind of over the last decade do you think they've changed like we've just talked about cooker taps you know say for example cooker taps white yeah. fridges that you know that were a sort of big you know a, a kind of a luxury to a luxury have, thing sort of yeah like, uh, standard so what sort of change what's become standard and now i think yeah you're right so so the cooker tap is becoming more and more standard and will do as i mean i say the cooker tap that's one brand it's, it's the boiling water tap um, can, I, can I just ask with the cooker tap do you think it's becoming more and more popular from a kind of um almost environmental point of view because it uses less does it use less energy than a kettle is yeah it, yeah over the long term over the lifetime it is you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna save yeah, money I just wonder, is that a factor for people as well i don't think i think it is a little bit but i think it's just the the, the ease i mean okay. on the on the hot boy uh, hot water taps mm -hmm. um i mean the other thing that's become very popular as well as the, you're talking about wine coolers now that becomes quite that's it that's still perceived as very much like oh can we get a wine cooler in yeah can we fit one so in cool. somewhere yeah yeah it's a real little thing and it's and you're just like yeah yeah you know and, and but the other thing is the 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 fridge styles often again it's uh, mine's slightly different but the where you have the the french door style where you have the two doors opening with a with a large freezer underneath and that's become really popular in the mm -hmm. recent times i've noticed more and more clients are asking for that for a bigger fridge bigger fridge um, yeah, rather and, than and, the single the, the long yeah the rather than the single fridge yeah yeah, yeah they, they 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 like that double door aspect um but besides that uh, again with the with the ovens i mean it's it's yeah you can now get the steam ovens and and the combination microwave oven um it's still a huge seller so yeah mm. and what those ovens can do i mean we'll yeah we'll again talk about it but it is 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 where where is it all going in the future and i think 
that is the connection is the is the internet and and is being able to access your your is that, appliances is that what you think is going to happen in the future like your prediction for sort of trends? that's what well, that's happening the it's kind happening of connected now. home the sort of smart yeah. home yeah 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 it's happening now and really? i think i think it's not something we've pursued a great deal as yet because i think it's still got some time to go before yeah, yeah, i would unless the client's of... really keen on it and they're very okay with 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 that side of uh, of, 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 of their appliances and working in technology but i think probably in five to ten years we'll have this conversation again and i think we will all have our homes on a on a pad um and and, and, and you know, do you think it, and does that sort of include that sort of thing where you have your sort of shopping list in the fridge and then when the fridge is depleted yeah. it adds it and then it sends your order yeah online remotely and then it just gets delivered you know i think i think that will that, happen yeah yeah that i do was think i've heard of but you know it, it does become more and more um, and yeah. you know you see it as a as a kind of a, a luxury thing and then it just becomes more and more mainstream so yeah. that's really interesting. You think the, the smart home and, and, and the, the kitchen will become part of that? I, th I think it will in, uh, in the whole. I think you, there will always be, obviously, uh, room for traditional, you know, people. And not everybody's going to go down that route. But, but I think in the main, we'll see that getting better and better and the te technology getting better and better to the point where it's, um, it's not just the early adopters it becomes it just becomes mainstream to everyone. yeah 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 and it's got to, i think it's got to be it's got to work and we've got to have those early adopters trying it first and well that's the thing that's why I'm, I'm sort of at the moment i'm i'm not completely you know comfortable with it because i just feel it's comfortable with trying to sell it actually because i just yeah. feel it's still got some time before i know before but, we but the thing is it. as well i suppose it's it's you know us maybe our generation you know we get it we're not kind of terrified of it we but we kind of go mm, you know i'm not quite whereas i think our children like the next generation are completely comfortable yeah with you know they exactly. would sort of expect this as a as a kind yeah. of a given because they've yeah. grown up with all of this there's a you know there's an app for that you know all of that sort of stuff so listen You're tell right. me i know we kind of did speak about it a little bit earlier but i just wanted to kind of get from you you know almost your kind of elevator pitch for want of a better word but almost your kind of usp you know what you know what would what is the benefit of an interior designer or an architect or you know a developer working working with you coming to us working with chalk yeah, coming to chalk. Um, the, yeah, the, the reason I think because we will take we are an extension of of what you're offering your clients. So that's that's how we look at it in terms of we become that uh, we will take over all of that those areas where you're not too sure. So on the design side, we will come in and, and, and work on that design, make sure it's correct for that space. And then on the the, the whole installation side, which again isn't isn't a big issue maybe with. with with interior designers, but with developers and architects and builders, that's a big side of it where we will come in and manage that whole side. And as you say, taking on the m &E, making sure everything's in the right place. We pair everything down to the nearest millimeter where that electrician and plumber needs to put things. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, and it's that project management element. That's that's the that's the what chalk's all about. We will project manage your whole. We are a solution basically for you in terms of the kitchen side, and we. Uh, and we can offer you that, that, that also that fantastic kitchens. I mean, the kitchens yeah. we're bringing in from Germany, beet, beet kitchens are, are, are fantastic. As well as we've got joinery in the UK, we can make more traditional in frame kitchens, mm -hmm. which is what I've got behind here. And they're becoming um, popular. So, which, which are very popular, but you know, it's a, it's a little bit more expensive. But um, so, yeah, so, so from, chalk, from our perspective, we, can, we, we offer everything. I mean, we've got another client of ours is one of the biggest states in london Cadogan, and and we so we look after the whole estate in terms of all their refurbishments so we work closely with both the uh, the, the the team that manage those properties and what look they're looking for and how they want that, that uh, the type of client they're looking to put into those properties in chelsea but we're also working with the the team that look after the servicing them all and making it so that it, it you know you the, the, they want all the bells and whistles but it's got to be a tenant's got to come in and they've got to be able to manage it so they don't necessarily want new products straight away mm -hmm. and it's it, for us so so it's that's that's important understanding what their needs are um but we do the whole yeah as i say if there's a problem you know we, we look after everything so we do everything the whole project management yeah yeah which yeah. you know is, is absolutely brilliant in so a word that was my elevator pitch yeah but. yeah yeah absolutely brilliant <laughs> 
Um, but um, so, you know, kind of talking about that and, and what you do, you know, obviously we've had, you know, we ha have, we're still in, in the kind of middle of a coronavirus. So has that affected your business? Like, has it impacted you negatively, positively? Like, how has that sort of affected you guys? Um, Bearing in mind that we're still kind of going through it. Yeah, it's still, it's, to be honest, we, yeah, things have slowed down, slowed down. We had a lot of our... Our works, obviously, we, we, we work through it on the pipeline. So we've got a lot of stuff that I'm doing now, which was stuff that, uh, my daughter just came in there, uh, which was stuff that we were doing, we were working on seven or eight months ago. So it's all, it's everything, you know, it's going to be interesting for me now is that work in the first quarter and second quarter next year, which we haven't, yeah, it, it's sort of there, but it's, it's slowly trying to pull it out of people because people don't want to commit mm -hmm. uh that's this is more on the development side mm -hmm. um in terms of that the, they don't want to lay down their budget straight away they're sort of waiting to hedging see hedging their bets really yeah hedging their bets but but so yeah so i think but but on on a on the residential side to be honest we we've seen quite a lot of uh, you know i'm seeing the clients this afternoon who who we've got through a, a a builder and lots of people are still looking to to do up their properties and well, i think, I think people spending so much time at home they're kind of yeah. like I'm sick of this kitchen now you know yeah. and if I'm going to be working from home more I need a kitchen that's going to work I need to think about how that's going to work for us yeah absolutely yeah and um, yeah. so uh, we're near the end now I think um, this is my very last question unfortunately but um, I'm just curious to know um, who would be your dream client to design a kitchen for and why um, I think my dream client would be a, um, it, it's basically a client, this sounds awful, but it would be a, through an interior designer with uh, a good budget. Because often, you know, the, the hardest thing, as we talked about, well, going back to the beginning of our conversation, was bringing those three elements together. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's having a good idea in terms of the aesthetics and again it's it's all personal what works for some people doesn't work for others but it's having having that influence in terms of just those finishing touches which is what you guys bring to the table basically mm. uh, which, which is, is fabulous kind of yeah which is fabulous for me because you know look, i can design a great kitchen but it and 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 we've got an awful lot of door finishes we can do and colors and different worktops but it takes the magic of somebody like yourself bringing that all together and making it look amazing and bringing you know dressing it in the right way and so so for me that's the and obviously a client with a budget uh, yeah so you mean what you mean is your dream client would be working with an interior designer with a client with no budget <laughs> yeah yeah with no budget yeah, yeah. that's exactly it so somewhere really so it nice that, and hot and sunny that they were flying up well flying yeah but down. also and also somebody who, who has a passion for the kitchen and and cares what it looks like and how it works because i you know i get a big kick out of that as i've talked about is is sitting down with them and work and, and, and how they use that space and where the traffic is if they've got young kids we're not going to have an oven over there we'll have it over here because it's going to be running you know and just going through all those elements and, and that's that's you get i get a lot of satisfaction from, from from making it work for them but if i can make it work for them plus we can make it look fantastic yeah and and it meets you know meets, meets does everything else then yeah that's my perfect plan. yeah 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 absolutely well look thank you so much i'm going to put links thank you. to your website and your instagram and stuff at the bottom of this interview but thank you so much for your time Great. and um, no, i'll see you soon